let's talk swimming. Um, last time we had it about the, the soya fish, um, the, the really nice soya fish, and this time we have it about something else. You chose the new topic. At the beginning of the last video I showed which are the topics which we discuss in the next couple of weeks, and you chose today. You want to know more about EO. EO. Well, I yeah, think... No, You've seen it several times. You've seen it several yeah. times, in, maybe on Instagram and uh, on, 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 on when, when all the big swimmers. So these are two tools, like, sorry, quickly. There are two things, like two devices. They can and they're the power, the power meters. Yes, these are the power meters. So they are, it is called EO, um, EO Swim, and uh, they have also an app to it. But what is, so Jamie Fuller is the guy who founded this, this, this tool. The cool thing is, so you, 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 you put it in, uh, you put it um, into your, around your hands, like this, and then here too. Um, let me do this. So that it looks like this. Yeah. This look like this, right? And then um, what you're gonna do is you 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 take this and then you swim. And it takes all the information um, from 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 what you what you need for for, for, for from, from your stroke. Like it takes everything. It takes um, speed, the hand movement, like the where it goes along, how it looks like, everything. And then also it takes how much pressure, uh, like it's like a power meter on the bike, right? Or the watt sensor on the shoes in running, like it's, it's like that. And, and basically the cool thing is about it is it tells you exactly what your hand movement does. Uh, then you can also uh, sync it with a video, which you've done at the same time, because it, there are two uh, lights which beep, and then you can show that into the camera and then film yourself doing it. And then you can see exactly the video following the curve which you have afterwards. And um, I mean, this is very high level, which I tell you now, we can do another video where we go more into, into detail. Basically, what is important is also where do you lose power alongside? I mean, when you go in, you go in, you glide, then you have a catch, you have a pull, and then you have a push, right? You have um, the three um, uh, parts of the stroke, and basically it tells you what is your propulsion, what is the power over time, what is um, um, all sorts of things, and also where is your hand lying? Like, if you, are you too far out, um, or are you, like, it tells you all this information. And often so you pretty much can uh, see how good your stroke is. Because a lot of people, for example, they have a good catch and then something happens. Either they move in their hands or they, they switch sides or they move to the side. So either they go to the sideways so they lose a bit of water or they just move that way. And, or they lift their hands out too early, and you can pretty much see everything afterwards on, uh, in the aftermath and um, um, edit or change it accordingly. Very scientific. So, yeah. you have never used yeah. it so far? Not, um, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I have a big head. <laughs> Jamie, if you hear this, Jamie, if you hear this, uh, Jamie Full, the owner, if you hear this, uh, this is an also candidate which would want to uh, test them for so. Loughborough University, by the way, you haven't been there. Uh, he's the guy to talk to. Um, hope he sees it. But anyway, so um, uh, I mean, I think it's a very important tool because. To the videos, I mean, video for me, you know, uh, it's a very vital thing or a very, um, yeah, very important thing for me to, for my technique. Not only the glide for in general, back in the days as a swimmer, but now even to, to be as efficient as I can. And this is giving me the extra data I need. Um, so, so I think with the form goggles, which we'll see later in another video again uh, about the form goggles, um, with the form goggles, videos and this tool, this is the best combination because video gives you how it looks or what is how it looks or where, where you see things. Uh, form goggle gives you the timings, like it could be more perfect, you know, in the split times, in, 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 all, like in all the t timing pre pre uh, pre um, preparation. It already gives you a hint on, uh, on, on stroke length and all that stuff. And if you want to dig deeper on the stroke itself, you combine all the three. You take the timing, you take the measurements from here, and you take the, the videos and you combine all of it and then make a sound solution. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. This is golden, golden. I mean, 
Yeah. Yeah, a lot of fans that. And, you know, as, as you said, you can look at your videos, you can have a look at the form and technique, and you could have the right form pattern. Okay. Pardon me. Um, you might be slightly down on power on one side, and you can focus on that and try to develop a, a more um, stroke power throughout the whole table of the stroke with both arms. So, yeah. No, I mean it's it's an amazing tool. I, I I love it very much. I've used it a couple of times, and I'm using it every now and then. So yeah, let let's see that you can test them either with me or through Jamie. So um, let's see that you can test them. I can only suggest them all. EO Swim. Um, I will link them also in the in the description of this video. These are an absolute amazing tool. I really love them. I mean it's uh, yeah. There's not not much out there which I love. As I said. I have my form goggles, I have uh, my video cameras which, which record the videos and I have this which is a great combination. And you now you can even have it on for the whole session, for the whole swim session. You don't need to, before in the beginning you only could do one length and then take it out and see how it goes. But now you can actually forget about it and just swim with these. It's a bit different but uh, I mean if you have a, like a very sound information or um, uh, a feedback on your stroke couldn't be better. I've got one question and just come in them again. I can see that you've got like a stretchy band. Yeah. Do they, how, how stretchy are those bands or how big can they go? So my, the reason I'm asking that is because what happens if we're wearing a hand paddle, we want to wear them when we're wearing a hand paddle. Is there an extra attachment or does that stretch? Well, that's the I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it with paddles because it pretty much has the sensor here, and if you put the paddles on top of it, you you might. Oh, you think you want to have it around the paddle? I don't think. Yeah. I mean, it, it is big. What you can enhance, we should try. I mean, I haven't tried it, but we could try. Uh, yeah, maybe that could be something. But it's pretty so long. Maybe they could even potentially do a, a paddle attachment where they could have, a, have an extra extra. Yeah. Oh, well, you mean? Oh, okay. Okay, that um, you could use it with a paddle. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, that that would make sense. Yeah, actually, you could ask. I mean, that's a good point. That's a good point. Good one. Yeah. That's what that's what I'm here for, man. Think of different things. Yeah, no, no. We we want to, we, in this let's talk swimming. It's not only about technique. It's also how do you get to the technique and how do you know that something is not right, right? Uh, in there, you have a lot. I mean, it, as I said, it also shows you the force field. Uh, we need to do another session on this where we have the data afterwards where I can say, oh, look, this is how it looks. But as I said, you can say the force field left, right. You know, uh, usually you want to have the force field not that big on one side or like a big big uh, drop of water kind of thing. You want to have it actually uh, very sh sh narrow and, and long uh, alongside the middle line, right? Alongside that, that you want. And, um, and also, there is also the force field. You want to have one movement, right, in the stroke. Like you want to have going up and down and not going up, up, like this. This is the usual, most thing. Most people have either that, Duck. This is more the ones who have a good catch and a good uh, uh, push and something happens in between. And then there is the ones which either have the good uh, push or they have a good catch and then nothing afterwards. And that you can see perfectly. So I've got another question or another thought. This is all about your, your arm stroke. I mean, we know that the problem with people is kick. Especially if they're doing, I don't know, a bike. Some people will only kick in one direction. For example, put all their power on a down kick, but they won't work hard on that kick. So I wonder if they're developing anything to put um, on your foot. I don't know if it works with the foot, uh, to be honest. I don't know if it works for now. It is geared that it is on your hands. I wouldn't know if, if that is also in the planning. Um, I, I, I've, they have now all the strokes, you know, all the like butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle. But I don't know actually if they have it for the leg kicks. Obviously, that would also give some information on it. Um, um, yeah, for they sure. Are important. But then on the other hand, you have the chances, as I said before, you can connect the data from EO with the, with the video that it's synced, it syncs it up. So you can do that. The app does it, do it itself. And then afterwards, when it's synced, you, you, you see exactly, you can follow the line of the curve 
and in the stroke we'll do the same thing and then you see what the body does at the same time so ultimately you have a bit of uh, information when something comes sometimes it comes from the little rotation and then the stroke isn't better because of the rotation and that you can see there but um, I think the use case is twice I guess for the daily use for pros that makes certainly sense because they, they need to change little things on their stroke and then there is the, the, the use case for, for, for the amateurs, the people who want to wanna, wanna try a tool and then it's, 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 it's more um, a use case for, um, uh, for once or twice a year or, or three times a year or it can be more but n not too much and not every day but then you have on a regular basis you you refresh the data and and, and see if it's changed or not like this this would be the other use case but i guess as i said for me it's a good tool yeah. and i can only suggest it so i guess we need to test have you tested as well now that sounds like a good plan hey maybe they can even do like a chest prep to get your body rotation i guess Test this first and we look about what you do instead of, we don't need to invent new things. We just, we, 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 we have now this here. But that, that makes all That's sense. Good. Have good. <laughs> so I guess this was it yeah. for, for Let's Talk Swimming, EO Swim, um, hand uh, or like arm uh, movement analyzing, analysis tool. Um, one of the good, better tools. And um, yeah, I can only recommend it. And um, we get you testing it as well. That was good. That was good. That was informative and um, well done. Thumb Thumbs up. So this was it for this episode of Let's Talk Swimming. He's frozen in, in, in his position, which I like. <laughs> um, this was Let's Talk Swimming with Alex from Scale Swimming and Marcus Marta. Talk to you again. <laughs>